Hi YouTube, today we will learn how to take the gradient of multivariable functions. Note that the multivariable functions that we will be dealing with must be differentiable and therefore must also be continuous. Okay, so when you want to calculate the derivative of two dimensional functions, it's pretty easy. You just take the change in y over the change in x. There's not that much problem with doing that. However, when you get to functions of three or more variables, taking the derivative or the slope gets a little more tricky because it's not like you can really take the slope of z with respect to both x and y. How would you do that? Well, a gradient is a vector that kind of describes the slope of z at a certain point. And as vectors usually are, they're denoted in this i plus j form, or in parentheses like this. So, what does this triangle mean? Well, triangle just means the gradient. And this symbol, or this entire term over here, just means the partial derivative. So. Let's say I give you the function f of x dash y equals 3xy. If you want to take the partial derivative of that with respect to x, well, you'd have to treat y as a constant. So pretend it's like 5 or 6 or something. So you take the derivative of this part and treat y like a constant, which means that you get... 3y, because the derivative of 3x with respect to x is equal to 3, and then y is just kept. Let's review how to take partial derivatives. So, let's say I give you the function f of x comma y equals 3x sine of y plus 5y. If I ask you to take the partial derivative of f with respect to x, what would you get? Well, let's see here. Well, it seems like 5y cancels out because 5y is treated like a constant and constants, the derivative of constants are just zero. And then we cancel out x because the derivative of x is just 1, treating 3 sine of y like a constant. So our partial derivative would just be 3 sine of y. Now, what about the partial derivative of f of x with respect to y? Well, let's do that again. So this time, x is a constant. So we differentiate sine of y and 5y. So the derivative of sine of y is just cosine of y. And then the derivative of 5y is 5. So our partial derivative of x with respect to y is 3x cosine of y plus 5. So now that we know what a partial derivative is and a gradient, let's try to solve some practice problems. So suppose we have the function f of x and y equals y times natural logarithm of x plus xy squared. And let's try to find the gradient at y, 1 comma 2. So let's see here. First of all, we would need to find the partial derivative of this function. So let's try to find the partial derivative of x first. So The derivative of natural logarithm of x is 1 over x, and then we treat y like a constant, so we get y over x. And then again, we treat y, y squared like a constant and differentiate x, so we end up getting y squared. So this is our partial derivative with respect to x. 
Let's try to find the partial derivative with respect to y now. So, we treat natural logarithm of x like a constant this time. So, we differentiate y, which just gives us 1. So, we get natural logarithm of x. Then, we take the derivative of y squared, treating x like a constant, which gives us 2xy. And that's our partial derivative of x of f with respect to y. And now we start plugging everything in. So 2 goes into y and 1 goes into x. So 2 over 1 plus 2 squared equals 6. And 1 goes into x, so 0 plus 4 equals 4. Therefore, the gradient of our problem is 6 comma 4 or 6i plus 4j. Let's do another problem. So consider the function f of x comma y equals 3 sine of xy plus e to the 8th power minus 8xy. Find the gradient of x of f at 1 comma pi. Well, let's try to find the partial derivatives. So, we'll take the partial derivative of with respect to x first, and then we can do y. So, we're taking the partial derivative of x, meaning that we treat y like a constant. The chain rule does not change here. So, y gets transferred to the outside so that we end up getting 3y times cosine of xy. And then e to the 8th power is a constant. And then here, we treat y like a constant still. So we just take the derivative of x, so we end up getting 3y times cosine of xy minus 8y. Now let's try to find the partial derivative with respect to y. So again, x is treated like a constant, so it travels to the outside. So we end up getting 3x cosine of xy. e to the 8 is still a constant, minus, well, this time x is our constant, so we just take the derivative with respect to y, so we end up keeping 8, 8x. So our partial derivative with respect to y is 3x times cosine of xy minus 8x. Now, let's start plugging in numbers. So we plug 1 into x and pi into y. So 3 pi cosine of pi minus a pi is going to be our partial derivative with respect to y, I mean x. And then we end up getting negative 3 pi minus a pi, or negative 11 pi. And then our partial derivative with respect to y, while well, we are just plugging in more numbers of 3 times 1 cosine of pi minus 8. So that gives us negative 3 minus 8, or negative 11. So our gradient will be negative 11 pi comma negative 11, or negative 11 pi i plus negative 11 j. And as a sneak peek for next week's video, we will learn how to solve for solutions 
of second order homogeneous differential equations in the, this form. Thank you for watching.